Hi, everyone. I'm Brad Weber, and I was the host of the 2021 annual meeting, and I'm excited to be coming back as your host for Informs 2022 in Indianapolis. As we continue to count down to this year's meeting, which is just, oh my gosh, right around the corner, we want to take a moment to highlight some of the tremendous benefits of the annual meeting, especially now that we're in fully in-person annual meetings. The ability to interact and network face-to-face, -face, creating lasting professional opportunities for your growth. So one of the pivotal events at the annual meeting is, and when professional networking opportunities is the career fair. And Warren Hearns, Vice President of Data Science at Best Buy is here with me. And Warren, I understand you have played a very pivotal role in this aspect of the meeting for many years. Why don't you tell us a little more about that? I'd love to, Brad. I've been a member of Informs for a couple of decades now, and it's, uh, it's clearly been a great asset to my career development. So about eight years ago, I was asked to speak at a networking breakfast at the Business Analytics Conference, and I really enjoyed that opportunity. So I started to become more involved with the Career Services Committee as a way to give back to the Informs community. So I think for about six years, I headed up the Career Services Committee and worked closely with Tom Fink of Informs and his team on basically anything that helped our members get, get new jobs, find new jobs either entering their first roles or moving to another one. And those things included networking breakfast panels, academic job search panels, industry job search panels, and a multitude of career fair activities. So I, I do want to give a shout out to the Inform staff. Tom and his team do all of the hard work. My role was to find interesting panelists, of which there are a lot of interesting uh, people at Informs, and learn how to ask questions of those experts that simply start the right conversations with the audience. So, first of all, you said you've been in Forms for a couple of decades, so you must have started when you were like what, ten? <laughs> yeah, I, I wish, but uh, no, it's been a it's been a a, a great opportunity uh, to to do this. You know, I I started uh, my PhD back in the early '90s in an area of machine learning called reinforcement learning. Um, so it was really interesting to watch this whole area of analytics and data science grow uh, sure. throughout the last 30 years. No, I'm, I am absolutely sure. Well, so we're very excited. As I mentioned at the, at the top of the interview that we're going to be fully in person in Indianapolis. And, you know, particularly around the career fair, I want to, you know, have you kind of explain, like, what should people be looking forward to about the meeting as a whole, but also with the career fair? Sure. So, you know, getting back to in-person conferences makes a huge difference. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody again. During the pandemic, we learned how to work from home. We learned how to take classes online. Uh, but there's there's just something about connecting face-to-face -face that enriches our relationships with others. Um, so as always, you know, I, I think the talks and the panels at the annual conference are a great way to hear about new areas of research, uh, or new applications of OR and analytical methods. And that, I think that's the true attraction uh, of the conference for many. But, but the connection to your colleagues, both, the, both your old colleagues and your new colleagues, should not be underestimated. Uh, the talks, the career services activities, the social events, they all give you an ample opportunity to network and genuinely connect with others in the informs community. So my advice is to, to get out of your comfort zone. Uh, a lot of us in this field are more introverted than extroverted, so that's not exactly easy. Uh, one, of the, one of the techniques I use is to uh, give myself a goal of meeting a certain number of new people each day at the conference. So I might strike up a, a conversation at a coffee break, or I might sit with people that I don't know at the reception and just, just learn more about them, what they're interested in, and you never know how this might help either your career or their career. So I love, you know, I, I love seeing the members take advantage of all of these opportunities. For example, doing all of the job search panels over the years, I've watched Informs members that are searching for a new role actually come to a job search panel, actively participate by asking questions of a particular panelist. And then I hear about them getting hired by either that university or that company a few months later. And it's all because of the conversation that they started at that panel. So, you know, that's that's super rewarding to see that the events set up by Informs make a real impact. So I guess 
make the most of the opportunity, download the Informs Meeting app, check out the panels, check out the talks, check out the job postings. If you see a company or a university that you're interested in, research that company, and then do the final step. Come introduce yourself and start that conversation. No, you know, it's, it's really amazing what you just said in regards to getting out of your comfort zone. I, I look back at the 30 plus years I've been attending conventions and there are people that were so pivotal just over a simple, you know, saying hello at a coffee break that actually were career changing for me. So talking about career, so tell, let's talk a little more about what can people specifically expect and experience with the career fair itself. Yeah, so there's several events that, uh, that Tom and his his team put together. Um, some of them are, and they're, they're all gonna help you, guide you in searching for your next role. They, they, some people find different roles in different ways. So they've got different opportunities. First, it's the panels. So we have panels that focus on different tracks. Are you interested in an academic career? We have panelists who have been through that process or are currently uh, running the process at certain universities. Go to that panel, find out more, ask questions. Or are you interested in an industry career? What I've seen, you know, I talked about, uh, I've been in this organization for a long time. I've seen a, a distinct move from an almost academic focus uh, entirely to a, a good mix of industry and academia. So if you're interested in an academic, uh, excuse me, an industry career, we have panelists who can tell you what a typical role is like at their company and the process for getting into that interview process. And frankly, there's a lot of people in informs that aren't sure whether they want to go into industry or academia. So we've got panels, go to both, ask questions. So that's that's one point I want to focus on. After moderating dozens and dozens of panels over the years, one piece of advice is come and ask questions. Uh, you get so much more out of it when you speak up and you ask your question rather than waiting to hear what other people ask. Seize that opportunity, take advantage of the time that the panelists have all volunteered. They really do want to answer your questions. Uh, so that is, <clears throat> that's one event. Another great event is the resume review, which is, mm. which is uh, a lot of things that are focused more on the industry side. The purpose of a resume, at least in industry, is to get your foot in the door for an interview. So we have members who volunteer their time, who will take a look at your resume and give you constructive feedback on how to maximize your potential for getting that inter interview. And then finally, this is just a, a central location for the career fair. It give, gives you a chance to do one-on-one -on -one interviews face-to-face -face with a number of companies, basically all in one place over the course of a couple of days. Super efficient for both the job seeker and the employer. You know, it's interesting. So we've talked a lot about the attendee experience and, you know, we've got such a dynamic work situation going on around the world right now. So what are the benefits for an employer organization um, in an event like this career fair? Yeah, so that's great. That's a great question. As a hiring manager myself, you know, I see Informs as one of the best places to find great talent. You know, it Informs attracts exactly what we're looking for on teams like we have at Best Buy, namely people that want to help solve problems using math and data. So by even participating in the career fair, an employer is gonna see a variety of experience levels. You're gonna see a lot of people that are just about to graduate with either their master's or their PhD, all the way through experienced managers. And they're, they're all looking, some of them actively and some of them passively, uh, especially at the at the higher levels, that just simply having a booth as they're walking by, they're going to see that your company, A, uh, is there, you have some really cool problems to work on, and uh, that you that you are actively trying to find great talent. So I think it I think just simply from a from a reputation standpoint, it elevates your company in the status of the informs community. Um, and also just is super efficient, as I said earlier, about attracting a lot of people who are great candidates. That's why we have so many great companies and uh, universities that come to that career fair, because it's just, it's a one-stop shop. It really is. And, uh, you know, one, one other question I have for you before we wrap. Um, so there's going to be, um, I think, almost two to 3,000 first-time attendees coming. Mm-hmm. 
What, uh, what advice do you have for someone, aside from the networking that we mentioned at the top of the interview, what, what advice do you have for someone that is brand new, first meeting ever? It could be a little overwhelming, I would think. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, I'm trying to think back to, to, my, uh, to my first one. There, there are so many great talks that are going. So um, I would say, other than the networking, uh, because I I do think that that is a super important part of of these conferences and has helped my career quite a bit. It's to pick out an area that um, that you are you are very interested in. Go to see some of those talks. Um, it's you know it's it's not a it's not a competition. You're not there to 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 pick out what's good and what's bad uh, about those types of uh, those types of talks. It's to learn something and to to assimilate some of the ideas and applications that others have in OR and analytics and data science into what you're doing, either either in your research in academia or take some great ideas that another company is doing and see if you can 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 merge those into what you're doing. We're, we're trying to make each other better. Uh, Informs used to have the, the motto of the science of better. It's not just making businesses better, but making research and everything better uh, as a community. So I think that's that's one of the great things that uh, that I would I would say to you know, don't try to boil the ocean. Try to find some some things that are that are really interesting to you. Make the most of this, and uh, and there's going to be one of these each year. Uh, you know, learn what works this year. Come back next year. Do it a little bit better. Well, certainly great advice. So, um, if someone is wanting to get involved and and go to the career fair, what what steps should they take? Yeah. So so the First of all, you have to be registered for the annual meeting. So make sure that you register for the annual meeting, get that taken care of. And then you can also register for the career fair uh, either uh, on the annual meeting website uh, and maybe through the app. I'm not 100 percent sure, uh, but <clears throat> take care of your um, take care of your resume, update that, get it uploaded, start exploring new opportunities and do some research on the companies that you see that are at the at the career fair uh, and give yourself a chance to absorb what they do uh, and then come to the career fair, start a conversation and, and really ask a lot about what that company is doing in the areas of OR and analytics and, and how you might fit into that organization um, or that university as to, as to what research they are doing. So, you know, best of luck to everybody that's, that's wanting to attend the career fair. I look forward to seeing everybody in a few weeks. Great. Well, Lauren, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, you heard some very stage advice today um, about how to be a, a first-time attendee, how to enjoy the career fair, how to use it to your benefit. Also, as another reminder, and Warren, thanks for bringing this up, is download that app. And download that app before you get on that airplane, because it's going to take a couple of minutes for that to work. So get some good Wi-Fi, download it, because we're trying to become a sustainable conference as well, and using the app will certainly help us save some trees, help us save the planet, and keep us more efficient. So Warren, again, thank you. It's clearly your passion is why Informs is so successful. So I think it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Brad.